Our theme today is growing and building. Hi, I'm Katie Hacker, your host, and Jenny Barnett Roars is here with me today too. Hi, Jenny. Hi, how you doing? Great. Are you ready to make this adorable pot? That is so cute, and you know, it makes a great desk supplies. You know, you could put your desk stuff in it. Or a gift for a teacher or a grandma. Yeah. It's just so much fun. And we're gonna start off by base coating the pot with a little bit of this pretty kind of sea colored. And you know, even the little kids can get in on this because it doesn't have to be super perfect. But you're gonna find that maybe a coat or two is what you need to fully cover the terracotta. Okay. So once that's done, we're gonna set it aside to dry, bloop, like that. And the next thing we're going to do is make some drips. And for this, we're gonna use this super duper sparkly glitter glue, which is so much fun. And all you do is go around here and see how it just kind of starts to bloop over the side. I'm big on sound effects. I I'm a sound effect crafter here. It works. Because it's so much fun. And you just drip it, and what it's gonna do is kind of fall down the sides. But that's good because what happens is when it's all dry, it's gonna look like seaweed coming up from the seafloor. Yeah, that's a great idea. You could do that same effect with paint. If you weren't using glitter glue, you could sure use paint. Or you could put paint on it there. and then add some glitter yeah. on top. Let's see you do the other color on here too, because okay. that will look oh, cool. Oh yeah. So here, I'll I'll put a little purple. Because yeah. you know, for the purple seaweed that you have. Right. In my world, I have purple seaweed. I think everyone should. <laughs> Make it creative. Make it creative, exactly. And this is, you know, this is a fantastical under the sea garden. So we're gonna set okay. aside and let that dry. Now, while that's drying, um, we're going to make some creatures to live in our sea garden. And we have this wonderful template you'll be able to find on the website. And they're just loose drawings. If you or your kids wanna, you know, trace them out and, and copy them exactly, you can, or you can freehand it too. It's all okay. okay. What we're gonna do though is take the template and slide it inside one of these plastic protectors. That's kind of the magic because once we put it back in here, now we can draw on top with other glitter glues and create our creatures like this. All right. Yeah. So you just outline and then fill it in. And little outlining, little filling in. Yeah, now we should remember too that this takes a little while to dry. So yeah, this is kind of like a two day project. You know, do your, your creatures and your painting on day one and then on day two, put it all together. But look how cute. And some of these glitter glues have like big chunkies in it, which yeah. almost look like scales. That's cool. Just like so, fish. Yeah, just like fish. And so what we'll do is again, set this part aside and just let it dry. Now, once it's dry, you peel them up. You just peel them right off of the paper or off of that little screen and what you get is this adorable little, these shapes. Now, if you put them right onto the pot, what would happen is that it wouldn't show up really well. It would kind of, see, cause oh, it's right. clear, it's Which translucent. Which could be good if you want it to be transparent. If you wanted to, but what we really want is for it to pop. So we're gonna use a little bit of white paint and we're just gonna paint on the back like this. Again, you don't, it doesn't have to be precise but what it's going to do is make that glitter pop. And I'm gonna paint here for a minute. And it's gonna get all over my fingers because that's how it is. But you can see the difference between the clear and then when it has that right. white backing behind it. It really makes a big yeah, difference. Yeah, it really does. So then we're gonna paint a few of those and let that dry like so. Okay. So it's a nice little rainy day activity too. It is. Now when you're letting it dry, do you need to put something on top of it to make it flat? I didn't I didn't really try to make it flat because when we glue it down, oh, it'll yeah, kind of squish, just press it'll it onto squish the surface down. of the pot. So when they're all done, you'll have some that look kind of like this. And then we will decorate our pot with them. See, don't they doesn't doesn't that really shine yes, and sparkle? Yes, they really do. Yeah, you can tell the difference between those. So sure. now what I'll do is use a little bit of white glue, make sure it's going, and add my sea creatures. I think it'd be fun too if you went to the library before you started this project and did a little research about like maybe um, tropical creatures and ones that you know were in a coral reef. You know what I mean? Kind right, of right. You could turn it into a habitat project for sure. I love that. You think you get extra credit? I sure think it would be deserved. <laughs> so notice how it does want to curl up a little bit. I'm just kind of rubbing it with my fingers and because this glue dries completely clear, you won't even notice it. Yeah, and you might need to hold it down a little bit if, while it's you know, getting itself attached. Give it a little massage, if you will. Right. And then my favorite part is adding some googly eyes because you know we're not taking this 
Let's See, not take it too seriously, let, right? Yeah, exactly. Have a little fun with it. Now, I need to use some tweezers, and so I just dab it in, and then attach a little eyeball on top. Ta-da! Okay, well let's take a look at the finished one too and we can see where you added some other little glittery highlights. Yes, yeah, so you can actually use a little bit of that glitter glue and just make some little dots to make air bubbles coming up for the fish. It adds another little dimension. It's so cute. You are going to have so much fun making this.